I was gonna do a nice review on these EPF or charge controllers, MPPT charge controllers after four years of usage and I was gonna say man they're really good, they're doing their job, they're amazing, they're awesome but after I made my new lithium iron phosphate battery I saw that the chargers aren't actually doing what they're supposed to and they're not working as MPPT and they're mostly working as PWM why? because they're Chinese products that don't work as they should be working check this out so we have 14 volts PV input this should be around 60 volts but yeah so we're not getting the full power of this one let's check the other one out this one has two panels in parallel this one has two panels in two panels in series so this one has two panels in parallel it's there you can see 14 volts 15 volts it should be around 32 15 amps 14 amps going in 16 amps going out this should be around 30 amps but check this out see so this is working clearly incorrectly so this clearly isn't working right check this out so I'm resetting the charger on the right uh -oh. just a second and soon you'll see what I mean there we've connected it back look it says 66 volts only 0 0.2 amps for the moment it's gonna go up just a second Still, it's a 66 volts, 65. Ah, there it goes. So, you can also see here. So now it's uh, actually outputting 20 amps. That's more likely, you know. So we have total 454 watts. Let's try to get it a little upward. Oh, there it goes. It, it sags down already. Check this out. 44 volts. Look at the amp. Look, 40 volts, 39 volts. The weather is the same. It isn't changing. It's full sun. Thirty six volts still going down. Look at amps. So yeah, this should be tracking now or something like that, but it's not actually doing that. It's just gonna go down and it's gonna sag to fifteen, fourteen volts, fifteen or fourteen volts, and it's gonna stay there forever. So yeah, it already went down. 28 volts. It's not working as intended at all. 27 volts. Look, we have only 357 watts. 13 amps. You saw 20 amps just a second ago. And now it's down to 12 amps, 0.8. And it's going to go down, down till 8 amps or something like that just exactly like a PWM controller so I, sh I suggest for everybody to stay away from these products it's not only this series is all the EP ever series it doesn't matter if it's a series BN series doesn't matter they have the same uh, mainboard inside the same components it doesn't do its job it will never do its job on a, a lithium iron phosphate battery or where you actually need the power where you're gonna use power out of it you're gonna see that it's gonna sag down so it's already down to 10 amps only 
see it's 20 volts so yeah garbage 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 product i tried talking to if you ever uh, they responded to one of my emails and they said they don't see the problem so i should make another video and explain what the problem is again which i'm not gonna do i'm just gonna exchange all my charge controls with uh, victron uh, charge controllers Victron uh, smart charge control and we're done with this and never buying EP ever 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 again That's why it's EP ever never buy again never Let's reset the other one Check this out 14 volts at 14.6 amps and In the battery is going 15.8 amps. Let's reset it and see what we get. Okay, now it's off. Let's connect it back. There we go. Now let's see what we get here. Check this out. <clears throat> this is the correct voltage. So 34 volts, not 14 volts at the PV input. Here you can see total watts and stuff. There you go. Still it's at 34, 34 volts, it's gonna drop. There we go, now it's going up, as you can see, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20, look it's 30 volts, 23 amps, 24 amps, hmm, how is this possible? Oh, it's starting to go down the input voltage because it's not true MPPT. This is just another Chinese imitation product that doesn't work. Look, it's at 26 amps now. Much more than before when we were at 16 amps or something like that. But don't worry because this will go down too. See, 25, 24 volts. It's gonna go down to 16 amps or something like that, just like a PWM controller. Um, in the next video I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of these EP Ever charge controllers and uh, the Victron Energy charge controllers. So you can see that these are just toys, actually toys from China. It's still, I can't believe that it's still staying at 21 amps, but it's going down, don't worry. Because look at the voltage, it was supposed to stay at 32 volts. That's the MPPT voltage for th these types of panels. Uh, again, here are two, two panels connected in uh, parallel, here are two panels connected in series. Same type of panels, the, these charge controllers just don't do their job, they don't want to work. It just don't want to see it's back down at 14 volts and only 7.4 amps going in this one is going down too it's down to 17 volts now and only 18 amps so don't worry because in the next video you'll see exactly what i mean in the side by side comparison with the victron energy charge controllers so i'm only getting 291 watts out of four panels that's that we should be getting over one thousand watts it's over one kilowatt but with these charge controllers we i can hardly get to 600 watts for a few minutes then it goes down to around 300 200 and something like it is going now so yeah don't ever buy this charge controller stay away from chinese products stay away dude just don't don't just don't thanks for watching and just don't buy just don't buy it thank you for watching bye Mm-hmm. <laughs>